Welcome back to the channel. Here's just a quick guide on Mystic Clovers. I'll be covering what they are, why they're important, and how to go about acquiring them. So let's get right into it. Mystic Clovers are a rare crafting material used in the creation of legendary equipment. This includes legendary weapons, armor, and runes. They are basically the bottleneck to crafting legendaries. They're rare that in many of the ways of acquiring them are time gated in one way or another, and they are fairly expensive to craft or purchase from special vendors. Since we now have access to a legendary weapon starter kit in the wizard's vault, many new players are probably gonna start attempting to craft legendaries. So it's important to start acquiring Mystic Clovers efficiently over time. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get into where and how you can start acquiring them. Let's start with the wizard's vault. You can purchase 20 Mystic Clovers from the Wizard's Vault, and it looks like it'll be refreshed every season. Make sure to get all of these. These are one of the best buys in the vault and arguably the cheapest way to get Clovers. Rovi World in PvP is a great way to attain Mystic Clovers. You receive Mystic Clovers for many of the reward tracks. For example, you get two Mystic Clovers for each time you complete the Gift of Battle reward track in World vs. World, which is nice since you need the Gift of Battle for legendary weapon crafting anyway but some of the other reward tracks offer even more Mystic Clovers, such as the Drizzlewood Coast reward track. It gives you 14 Mystic Clovers. The Majora Marches reward track gives you 11, and the Grothamar Valley reward track will net you nine. And there's several others that will give you seven for completing them. These are non-repeatable, but you can complete them once in World Reroll and then do them again in PVP. I'll post a link to this chart that shows the different reward tracks and how many Clovers each offers, as well as if it's repeatable or not. You also have the chance to attain additional Mystic Clovers from Worldly Rolled from the Wolverworld Skirmish Reward Track. If you didn't know, this is the reward track that is filling up alongside the other reward tracks. Every five minutes that you are active and participating in World vs. World, you are gaining pips that fill up this track. Filling up this track rewards you with chests. The chests in the Silver, Platinum, and Mithril tier rewards you with Mist Warp Bundles. These bundles have a chance of containing Mystic Clovers as a nice little bonus. You can also purchase a limited number of Mystic Clovers per week from vendors in Worldly Rolled and PvP using some of that game mode's currency, but we will talk about this more in just a minute. Now into Mystic Clovers from vendors. You can purchase a limited quantity of Clovers each week from the following vendors. You can buy 10 per week from the Buy4373 Golem in the Fractal Lobby. You can buy 5 Clovers a week from Dugan in the Worldly Rolled Maps. You can buy 5 Clovers per week from the Leak Vendor in the PvP Lobby. You can buy 10 Clovers per week from Scholar Glenna in the Raids map, and 5 per week from Nikki the Lost in the Wizard's Tower. Each of these listed vendors has similar costs for their weekly purchase. The costs are 2 Globs of Ectoplasm, 2 Mystic Coins, 2 Spirit Shards, and amount of specific currency for that vendor. For example, it costs 150 Fractal Relics in the Fractal Lobby, 30 Magnetite Shards from the Raid vendor, and 20 Skirmish Claim Tickets from the Worldly World vendor in addition to the base costs. Which of these vendors you want to purchase Clovers from will really depend on your access to the vendor specific currency and if it's worth you to use that currency to convert to Mystic Clovers. For example, it costs 150 Fractal Relics as part of the cost in the Fractal Lobby. If you happen to be working on the legendary Fractal Backpack, you might want to wait since you need a lot of Fractal Relics to progress the quest for the legendary Backpack. Besides these special vendors, you can also purchase Mystic Clovers now from Miani or any of the Mystic Forge attendants, as well as Lyra in the Wizard's Tower. This method won't cost you any special currency such as Fractal Relics or Worldly World Skirmish Claim Tickets, but does cost more of the other materials. These vendors all charge 5 Globs of Ectoplasm, 3 Mystic Coins, 3 Spirit Shards, and 3 Obsidian Shards for each Mystic Clover. We will get into the overall cost of each of these methods in just a bit. You could also attempt to craft Mystic Clovers in the Mystic Forge using these two recipes. They consist of Obsidian Shards, Mystic Coins, Globs of Ectoplasm, and either a Philosopher's Stone or Mystic Crystal, which are both basically just Spirit Shards. You can purchase these with Spirit Shards from Miani or any of the Mystic Forge attendants. The first recipe will give you the chance of gaining one Mystic Clover, and the other one will give you the chance of gaining 10 Mystic Clovers. One problem is that either recipe only has about a 30 to 32% chance of yielding Mystic Clovers. On the upside, if either recipe fails to yield Mystic Clovers, it still gives you some decent crafting materials as shown by this table right here. So the question is, if you're going to use any of these methods here, which one is better? I did some quick math, so let's take a look at the relative and average cost of each method. The prices can vary some due to fluctuations in the trading post prices, 
but it should serve as a good reference for comparison. Let me just give you the highlights. Purchasing clovers from one of the currency vendors is going to cost you roughly 2.52 gold per clover in materials plus the vendor currency, whether it's fractal relics, raid currency, etc. Now, if we use the Mystic Forge recipe, we only have a one-third chance of obtaining clovers, but we do get some materials back. So taking that all into account, including the worth of the other materials we receive, it's going to cost you about 3 gold and 94 silver per clover on average. But it's random, so if you're only doing a few clovers worth, it's like gambling, and you may do better or worse than the average. If we buy Mystic Clovers straight from Yanni, the cost is higher. It's going to be about 5 gold and 13 silver per clover, but you won't have to deal with any of the RNG of the Mystic Forge. So here's my take. Buying the clovers from one of the currency vendors is obviously cheaper, especially if you have plenty of the needed currency. In particular, I always try to grab the 5 per week from Nikki the Lost in the Wizard Tower, which uses green profit shards, since I don't use the green profit shards for much else. If you do have to get some from one of the other two methods, I would craft them in the Mystic Forge over buying them outright from Yanni, since they are, on average, cheaper overall. Another way to attain Mystic Clovers is to purchase Magic Warp bundles from the Unbound Magic vendors in the Living World Season 3 maps. I recommend going to Ember Bay and buying them from Scholar Sura because they cost less from this vendor. The Magic Warp bundles randomly contain a lot of valuable materials including Mystic Clovers. There's approximately a 3.9% chance of getting a Mystic Clover out of each bundle. Doing some quick math, if you were to buy 100 Magic Warp bundles, this would net you on average about 4 Mystic Clovers and would cost you 40 gold. This obviously doesn't seem very good, but in return you'd also get around 125 gold worth of materials back, including tier 6 crafting materials that you need a boat love of in crafting legendaries. So this method does offer you a good return on your investment if you have enough Unbound Magic. Okay, on to Drizzlewood Coast. The Drizzlewood Coast map is an awesome way of farming materials and Mystic Clovers. To have access to the map, you're going to need to have at least completed the story mission Pointed Parlay from the Icebrood Saga, which is in Episode 3, No Quarter. The map is huge and consists of a bunch of events that lead to two different metas, one on the south side of the map and one on the north side. There are six repeatable achievements that are associated with the Drizzlewood Coast that each net you valuable crafting materials and Mystic Clovers. These are the four Glory 2 and two Death 2 achievements. As you are completing events around the map, you earn Char Commendations, which progress these achievements and unlock reward chests at different tiers. The final chest of each achievement contains two Mystic Clovers, and many of the other chests at the lower tiers reward you with valuable materials. You can also visit this vendor daily named Anona Vinerunner and purchase Char Commendations to further progress the achievements and get your clovers and materials quicker. So these are the main repeatable methods for farming Mystic Clovers for your legendary crafts. What I typically do is obviously get all the ones available from the Wizard's Vault, then try to get the majority I need from Drizzlewood Coast, Worldly World, and then some weekly from the special vendors. If I end up needing more and don't want to wait, I do gamble some in the Mystic Forge. But use which method is best for you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like for the algorithm and subscribe for more great content. Alright guys, I will see you in the next one. Thank you.